morning guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to start painting our van. So we're going to go from white to a matte military green. And black. And black, yeah. Black roof, which sounds a wee bit mental in this heat, but it might help us out in the winter. And it's going to look good. <laughs> yeah. So we spent a lot of time fixing up the inside and making it beautiful. And uh, we just want to do the same with the outside now. Yeah, the outside don't match the inside at all. It's no. like a little grotto in here and the outside of our van looks pants. So. Yeah. We just don't want it looking like a builder's van anymore. So we're going to go for green so we can hide in the forest. I wouldn't call this a tutorial, but if it turns out really well, then maybe it is a tutorial. But we have no idea what we're doing. This is the first time we've ever painted a vehicle, but we'll see how it turns out. So it's military vehicle paint. So it's really easy to apply. It's thick, it covers all the blemishes and it doesn't need a primer. So straight from sanding to painting, second coat, job done. That's the plan. We've got a lot of sandpaper, we've got the rollers and we've got the paintbrushes. So today we're going to be doing the back doors. And we've got our supervisor with us today. Yeah, he's going to be making sure we do everything right. Yeah, probably getting covered in paint. <laughs> the first step of this is going to be cleaning the van down. We've got some caravan cleaner that removes algae and streaks and dirt. So I'm just going to make up a bit of this solution. We got this from Aldi. And we're ready to go. So we're just going to start by washing down the back doors. We figured you should probably wash the whole van, sand the whole van, paint the whole van, but we don't know what the weather is going to do today, so we're just going to do it stage at a time. So we're going to wash this, sand it, paint it, make sure we like the colour, and then we'll start doing the rest of the van. Now I'm going to take the number plate and the badges off. Hopefully without breaking any of it. Oh, yeah. Maybe we're not taking the number plate off. It's a really hot day today, so that's dry already. It's only been five minutes. So the next step is to... Sand it, and I'm really not looking forward to it because it's white. It's a wee bit bright. But we're going to take the power sander to the big flat surfaces, and then in these wee nooks and crannies, we'll just go around with our hands. So we're going to be using 320 grit to get a nice key on this so that the paint grips it. Hopefully it won't take us too long because it's mostly flat panels, so we'll just quickly run over that with a power sander. Now we're just going to wipe it clean. Um, we've got most of the dust off with the brush, but we're just going to make sure we've got all the dust off before we start painting. So we're just going to do that now. Now we're going to tape up. We said this wasn't going to be a professional job. The skill. Damn, son. So that's all the wee bits taped up so we don't get paint on them. Number plate, number plate lights, the lock and the door handle. So here's going to be Bruce's new colour. Right, I think you have to stir it for three to four minutes. First coat on the back doors. It's our new green. Not bad for a first coat. So now we've just washed down the side of the van. It's time to get sanding. So around the wheel arches we've got little pockets of rust. As you can see there. We've got some 180 green here. Or oh, grit, sorry. So I'm just gonna blast that. We don't really want to take it down to bare metal, but we're probably going to have to in some of these areas, especially down there. Once we've sanded it, we're going to hit the rust with a bit of cure rust by hammering. So this stuff will turn the rust into a basically a surface that you can then paint. It will also kill the rust. It's not a permanent fix, but it should hold it back for quite a while. 
So that's the next step. So the Kuros takes about three hours to dry before we can paint on it. So we're just going to start working on sanding. There's quite a lot of sand on the side compared to the back door, so we're going to crack on. sanded, wiped down and masked off all the areas on the side of the van. So, that, so next we're just going to do this side and the bonnet. Um, so yeah, let's go, let's get painting. We've also got this matte black which we're going to put on the bonnet, um, around the trims and on the ceiling and the roof rack as well so it's going to tidy everything up really really nicely so we're going to put, start doing the first coat on the bonnet before we can get to the other side of the van. Hi Fatty! So we didn't really film anything yesterday, but we did get a load of little trims and stuff done and we just did a second coat on the side of this side of the van. The colour looks excellent. It's strange actually because we're so used to it being white when we walk around the corner and it's just dark green, it's almost camouflaged. Yeah, whose van is that? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but it's good, it'll, it'll be well camouflaged when we're in the woods, which is a benefit. Yeah, it's what we want yeah. out of the paint job. So today's mission is this side of the van, which is going to be much easier because it's basically one big panel and one door. and then. And the roof rack is going to be black, the roof's going to be black, and then the bonnet needs another coat because mm -hmm. it's got streaks and bugs. A wee yeah. tip, if you're going to paint your van, don't do it in the middle of summer because there's bugs everywhere and they land on your van, especially if it's black. So yeah, don't do it in summer, do it maybe spring. Yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit of sanding before the last coat to or, get rid of the bugs. Yeah. Or just accept that our van's covered in bugs. <laughs> <laughs> we are the woodland nomads, so we don't mind a few bugs. Yeah. They're in the van, so they might as well be on the van. We'll just crack on today. We're not going to show you too much painting, but the same rule applies. We're going to wash it down, we're going to sand it, we're going to take the dust off, and then we're going to paint the first coat. I think it's four hours after the first coat, you can do the second coat with this paint. So we're hoping to get the van finished today because it's not meant to rain. But we did get caught in the rain yesterday, so who knows? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Yesterday we painted the inside of the doors because it was raining for a bit of yesterday. So there's going to be like no white visible at all. We want it to be completely decked out and looking mean. So we're going to do every single seam so it's like a just completely green and black unit. Um, so yeah, we started doing all these bits. So all of the inside seams have had one coat and they need another coat so it's not looking perfect yet but it's looking pretty good. We also did the insides of fear, which we're really happy with. I think this one's pretty much finished apart from some of the seams. And the inside of the doors as well, and it's just looking really switch. It's looking really nice. So yeah, I think we're gonna get second coats on these. We're gonna get the other side of the van sanded and painted today. And Matty's gonna spend a lot of time on the roof today, I think, because he can get up there really easily and I can't. Luckily though, I did a little sample. It looks like the black will go onto the roof rack in one coat, which is excellent. I didn't even sand it, I didn't even wash it. The back doors are looking really good. We did actually already have these back doors black, but it was a shiny black, so it just didn't look very good at all. We, we need to finish the seams off here and bring it to the green, but yeah, it's going to be absolutely no white. We don't usually like bugs in the van. We've had a few flies, which have been doing our head in when we try to sleep, and obviously hundreds of midges. But we got a new bug friend, um, this wee spider up in the corner, who's built a pretty mental nest. Can't really see him. This guy is our friend. He's been eating midges. Yeah, and the best thing is, if we put that light on, it draws all the midges into his net, so he's been having a right time. Um, probably we'll get rid of him when we're on the road. Don't particularly like sleeping with spiders. But if you don't like spiders, 
Honestly, guys, you need to get one of these. It absolutely destroys midges. I don't know if you'll be able to see inside, but there's probably 50 midges in there. The UV light attracts them, and then they fly in, they land on the wheat grid, then they get zapped. It's, it's excellent. I think it's like 15 quid on Amazon. It's perfect. It's a victory sound whenever that happens. Yeah, we'd highly recommend you get one of them. It doesn't kill all the midges, but it definitely cuts down on the number of bites we wake up with. And the best thing is it's used to be chargeable, so you're not wasting and throwing away batteries. Mm -hmm. The side is so bright, it's absolutely awful to look at, so I'm really looking forward to it being green. Um, yeah, yeah, it looks so shoddy compared to the other side. The green side looks so finished and complete. Yeah, it does. Another useful tool for getting the rust off is one of these wire brushes. It says wear eye protection on the back of it. I probably should, shouldn't I? Safety first. So, yeah, it's a wee wire brush that fits on the end of a drill. And that's just going to take the majority of the rusty bits off. Sanding wheel. And then once over with the 320, this is um, to give it a smoother finish and it keys the body for the paint. All our brushes in the paint, and so just going to use a wee sponge. Okay, so it says don't get in contact with your skin, so I wouldn't use a sponge. <laughs> but I'll live. It's got a bit windy, but we've finished rinsing it, so we need to let it dry. Mm -hmm. Let it dry in the sun, so we should swim. Yeah, we're going to go for a swim. We'll take you along with us. Yeah. Crumples. You see them? They're on that ash tree. Where? Oh yeah. Crumples. Yeah, as if we found them, we always find something, but we'll collect those another day. Yeah. I did a, a short video on making fire with crumbles. They're actually a pretty good, a bit, a bit, a bit. <laughs> they're a pretty good bushcraft tool, crumbles. Um, they work as a good tinder to start a fire with a flint and steel. But yeah, you can watch that in our very first video. Uh, it's a bit windy, I hope you can hear us. Um, we're really lucky where we're staying, there's actually a river, what, 15 metres from the van, it's just through those woods there. It's not far at all. No. And there's a couple of good swimming spots on it. So we're going to the nearest one just now, which, what, a four minute walk? Yeah, four or five, oh. five minute walk, yeah. Yeah, we're going to vlog everything we do. So this video is about painting a van, but it's also about how we spend our days. Yeah, so we're going to frolic now. Yeah. <laughs> so come along for a splash. Or skip ahead and watch us paint the van. Up to you. Clover is another edible. You can actually batter them and have little fritters. Yeah, we did that the other day. Or you can eat it raw. Oh, good that.
refreshing. Nothing beats a wild swim to refresh you. So we're ready to get back to the van. Now we paint. Now we paint. What do you have? Little nest of them. They're absolutely everywhere. They're adorable. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so cute! <laughs> so we're back at the van and we're ready to get painting again after our swim. It's really windy out there so we're not going to be doing any talking. So the, the side wall's been prepped and Lisa's going to paint that now with a roller. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get on the roof and start sanding the roof ready for the black. Yep, we've had a bit of lunch so we're ready to go now. Feeling very refreshed after our swim. And all fueled up and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Ready? Ready. Let's do it. Pretty knackered. But we've done well. Yeah. We've got the entire van painted green, it's so exciting! <laughs> it actually looks nearly finished, very very nearly. It needs another coat on the other side and a little bit of cutting in, but it's green. It's, it's green. fully green. And black. <laughs> yeah. 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 We haven't had the time to paint the roof and we've sanded it so it's ready to be painted, but it is meant to rain this afternoon and then we've got a few days of rain so it might be a while until we can finish this off. Mm -hmm. But we have done the entire lower part of the van, first coat, second coat on one side one side and the front and the Some back doors. Some of the doors. trims we've done twice as well so yeah. there's just touching up on them to do which is exciting it's looking so much better now. It's good we've done a really good job and honestly we're so happy. Really happy really excited to have him green and he looks so good. So of course it's going to rain because it's Scotland it turns out we've got quite a lot of rain coming next week so we'll bring you a part two soon.